Hi, my name is Jess. Thank you for taking the time to hear my testimony of what God's been doing in my life this past year, especially in terms of my motherhood journey. Um, so a couple years ago, I started writing little stories about things that happened during my day that were especially challenging or memorable, which is a daily occurrence when you have three boys. And after a while, I started just infusing little nuggets of wisdom that God has shown me about what it really means to be a mom and kind of strengthened me through the years. And that turned out to be a book which came out this year, which is so awesome because it's so like God to use an experience that we felt less than and weak in to give him the glory and make our dreams come true. So when I first had my first child 17 years ago, I was at this church, I felt like the biggest failure mom ever. I felt like all my other friends had like four kids and were homeschooling them all and teaching them three languages and I could barely make it out the door. Like hourly survival. <laughs> so I used to feel a lot of disappointment and I used to do a lot of comparing myself to other moms and you know the neighbors and people that just always seemed like they had it together. I always felt like I was missing this domestic chromosome. Um, but through the years God has just showed me how to give my sense of defeat and shortcomings to him and he kind of showed me what's really important about being a mom which is really just having joy and focusing on your kids and enjoying your kids and giving him the rest. So I learned to kind of all the areas that I was falling short in or just felt like a failure at, I just started praying about it and just decided it's not gonna, I don't wanna be a frustrated mom. I don't wanna be a distracted mom. I really just wanna enjoy my kids because they're only little ones. So through the years, I feel like he's taught me what's most important, which is the atmosphere that you create at your house, which is peace and joy, which comes from the Lord. And I feel like, I always wanna just encourage moms it's all about the more you focus on him, the more peace and joy you'll have. So you'll be more patient and you'll be more equipped and you'll be in a better place to become a better mom. And, and that's what's really important. So especially in Christian circles, I always say, you know, this book is very real. It might not even be for everybody because it's, I talk candidly and share my feelings openly about all the disappointments. And, you know, sometimes I don't feel joy and see butterflies and rainbows every day, every second with the kids, and that's okay. And I feel like that gives us a lot of freedom. I feel like moms can be isolated a lot, and that's uh, the enemy's way of kind of just making us feel disappointed all the time. I just hope this encourages other moms out there that you're not alone and um, also to trust God. I feel like being a mom, a grandma, um, you know, for future moms, just so you know, I really think it gives us access to God's heart that we might not have had before we knew him because we have to trust him with kids that we love even more than ourselves. You know, I always uh, heard years ago someone say, having a kid is like watching your heart walk around its body and now you can't protect them from all the dangers and the external circumstances. And especially with moms, we can really worry ourselves to death in this crazy complex world. So having kids really just gives us an opportunity. I have learned to trust God so much more than I probably ever would have before having kids. And it's, it's an awesome experience. And I feel like perfectionism is just the thief of joy. So that's my message is there is a way. I mean, it's, it'll always be hard. We'll always have those days. There's always struggles. I mean, we're not in heaven yet, but there is a way to just be joyful and really enjoy our kids because they're only little. They're only under our roofs once. So. For all the moms out there, you are not alone with anything you're struggling with and just hope you have an amazing Mother's Day and a year full of joy and triumph and if you have a couple missing homework assignments in that backpack, so be it. Thanks.